Here in Durham, New Hampshire, it's express service from college campus to the polling site. If you want to know what young people feel like at the University of New Hampshire, there's no better place to be than on this voter shuttle bus. On board, troubling signs for President Biden. When you're in there, you could choose Biden. You have to write him in, or you can pick another candidate. Are you going to pick Biden or another candidate? I'm definitely going to pick a different candidate, yes. Neither Trump nor Biden are speaking to you. No, that's, that's really it for me. Mr. Biden, not on the ballot today, but can be listed as a write-in candidate. Did you write in President Biden's name today, or did you vote for somebody else? Okay, go for it. Tell me who. I wrote in ceasefire today. Ceasefire. There's a campaign to write in ceasefire uh, in support of the ceasefire in Gaza. Did you all write in ceasefire? I did. Like 72% of young voters nationwide, many students we met disapprove of how President Biden is handling the Israeli-Palestinian conflict. What is it about Biden that's got young Democrats looking elsewhere? Um, mostly his age and his foreign policy. We just want somebody younger and new. And while Democrats aren't questioning if Mr. Biden will be the party's nominee, the young voters we met are issuing a warning about November. I'm not happy with Biden's term in office. He's filled out a lot of empty campaign promises. Indeed, NBC's latest national poll among voters shows President Biden trailing former President Trump. We also rode this bus during 2016's yep, to, uh, admittedly more competitive primary, ballot. encountering a far more enthusiastic crowd. Anybody else on the bus over Bernie? But today, is there a lack of enthusiasm amongst young people about this race? Uh, I guess I guess so. I mean, um, I've talked to some other kids. They're not really like into it. And Jacob, as we've been reporting, NBC News projecting uh, President Biden has won New Hampshire tonight. But for those young Democratic voters who didn't go for him today, what did they say to you about November? They say, Lester, if it is a general election matchup between former President Trump and President Biden, they will vote for President Biden. But their lack of enthusiasm sure is. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.